Hello and welcome back. I've got a review for you today on the VacMaster VP112S Chamber Vacuum Sealer. This is my old food saver that I've been using, but you know with a food saver it's hard to vacuum seal wet things without pre-freezing them first and that just takes a lot of time. It's kind of a pain. This will allow you to vacuum seal foods that are moisture rich, even wet like soups and stuff. I got this off a website called Webstaurant Store. There'll be a link to it and other things in the description below, so make sure you check that out. It's the best price I found, and I shopped around pretty hard for this thing. And I tell you what, they delivered it in less than a day. I ordered it on Friday, Saturday morning, it showed up. It was crazy fast. So we're going to get to this review right now and show you why this chamber machine is so cool. One of the big benefits of a chamber machine is the bags don't depend on sucking air out, so they're a little bit different. These are pouches that came with it. Came with 40 pouches of four different sizes to try out. The bag's actually just a few cents a piece, so they're a lot less expensive than the bags you use for the external vacuum machines. Now you need to know, this is a large machine, okay? This fills up my table that I do my meat work on in the garage pretty full. It weighs 50 pounds. This is not a light duty machine. It has a heavy duty commercial motor in here. Um, the machine can put a lot of vacuum pressure on anything you put in it. And the way it works is you put the food items inside the chamber. It has some filler plates. I bought these extra. And um, what it does is when you put the food inside with the bag and close the lid, it evacuates all the air from inside the chamber and pulls a vacuum in here, including inside the bag and the food. Then it lets the air back in, which squashes everything down after making the seal and all that stuff. And we'll show you that in a few minutes. This will seal and vacuum liquid as well. You can put soups in here, uh, marinate things in here, whatever you need and whatever will fit. With the plates out, it's probably big enough to hold inside a very large roast. This is probably about three inches deep and the lid adds a couple more inches. So you could probably put something about five inches thick in here if you needed to. Something else that's nice that they don't really tell you about, you can use the roll material and the bag material for the food saver style vacuum seal is just fine in this machine. It works just great. So if you get in a pinch and you're out of chamber sealer bags, you can always run down to the store, and buy a roll of this, or buy the bag material and use that. It's no problem at all. All right, so here's a little tech tip for you. First one, always lift by these handles. You can put stress on this lid, which you don't want. Always lift by those handles. If you're making your own bags using roll material or just need to make a seal, put your bag in here the way it's going to go, shut the lid, and there's an instant seal button. Well, that's not a big deal, but I will tell you, this thing has to run for at least 18 seconds before it will vacuum seal. The seal bar is actuated by the vacuum pressure. So you can't just hit this button to make a seal. It won't work. So what I do is just set it on the lowest setting, hit the start button. It's got to run for 18 seconds. See, this button won't work until it builds up enough pressure. So once it gets down to two, you can go ahead and seal it, and you're good to go. Should work now. Seal time is set for four and a half seconds which for this material works wonderful. You can play with that. You can make a heavier seal time or a lighter seal time if you want. So now your bag sealed, ready to put in your food. So that's a nice wide seal on there. It's just letting you know the cycle's done. I'm gonna seal the rest of these up to get ready and we'll come back. One more quick tip for you. This is a little catch to hold your bag material. Make sure if you're just doing a seal that you use this catch to hold your bag. If you don't, it'll vibrate right off of there and won't seal. All right, we're gonna start this thing off with some, a couple steaks and some packs of burgers and see how it does. Take a pack of our steaks in it. Set that in there. Put the bag under the bag catch. Lock that down. We'll set our vacuum for the max. We'll leave our time set where it is. Hit the start button. We'll let you guys see the whole cycle here. You can see the meat a little bit through the window. All right, I sped that up again. So now you're going to see it seal. Seal bar comes up, makes a seal. And we've sucked all the air out the chamber.
done. Look at that. That thing is vacuum sealed tight as a tick. Ready to go. Let's throw some burgers in there. Same thing. Get our bag under the catch. Make sure everything's straight. Close lid at star button. And I'll speed this along too. See if it shows a little better without that light. Give you a little closer shot of these burgers. The vacuum cycle is almost done in here now. So the seal bar is getting ready to come up, make the seal. Then it'll let the air in. Done. Alright, here's the best reason I think. Fish. Vacuum sealing fish has always been a pain because it's always wet. Not with this thing. Line it up in there. Look at there. Ready for the freezer. Perfectly sealed. No fight in the water. Ready to go. Alright, here's an ultimate test for you. This is a bag of water, straight up water. Let's see how that thing works. The water inside is actually boiling because water boils at a lower temperature under a vacuum and the vacuum is so extreme, the water is actually boiling in the bag. I put it in straight out of the tap, cold water. There's your perfectly sealed bag of water. <laughs> that is so cool, man. <laughs> so that's it for the VP112S chamber vacuum sealer. It is a commercial machine. They are a little bit expensive, but good things cost money. Again, links in the description below. Make sure you give me that thumbs up like button. Subscribe to my channel with a button down there. Check out some of the other videos while you're here, and we'll see you next time. Vacuum seal water? Really? Oh my gosh.